sauce. And this is just a very clean green sauce, simple. So we're waiting for this to get a little bit more color. They originally start really green and they start getting yellow and yellow as it goes. So while this is roasting a little bit, let's go and do some cilantro. Just usually clean up the cilantro a little bit. We don't need that much. So we'll handle it and get a good rinse. And we just do a little chop. Just a little fine chop just to get ready for this. And we're going to add this at the end once the salsa that we have put in the blender cools off. Because otherwise what you do is you shock the flavors. So when you add whole ingredients to a hot, hot uh, sauce. You, so you let's get this it. guy's done. Let's put them in the blender. And then with the onion, the only thing we're trying to do is just to kind of give it, you see the little smoke, just to get it a little bit of flavor. The garlic has just a slight roast. So usually I do 10 to 12, 12 to 12 tomatillos. And then with the serrano, what I do is I'll just take the ends off. Uh, they go in with everything. So I go in there with the seeds and everything. And then I'll take a little bit of salt. We're gonna go in and blend this. So when the salsa comes out, we can depend if it's too thick, we can add a little bit of water, but it has to be warm water. Again, that shocking effort. Okay, so once the sauce is done and it's cooled off a little bit, what we do is we just add the cilantro. and blend it again. Okay, so then the salsa is ready. You can just pour it in your nice container. And this will keep for about four or five days in the fridge because it has the onion. Another trick that I do is I take um, an avocado and just add it in to my salsa. And that gives you a different texture. So you can go ahead, take that in, blend it again, and it has a completely different look and flavor. Now is the one that has the avocado. So you can see it's a little bit of a different, it's more creamy. This is kind of like a very similar to a guacamole actually in texture. But this is just very fresh, clean, and you can use it over fish, you can use it over halibut or anything. This is great with chips and salsa. If you add some sour cream, which we call it creme in Mexico, that makes the best um, enchiladas.